TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this uh, Wednesday, Wednesday, the 13th of March. We're looking at the Dow up 88. 39,094, a little bit of a divergence going on. The Dow is getting a little stronger. Remember, this is the pattern we look at, Chevrolet falling axe formation. When you break out above it, you can look to the left side high, to the next one, the left, to be able to test that. We're very close to that. This is uh, the nine-period moving average remains strong, very good. The S&P has pulled back a little bit. The S&P is now down 10 at 51.64. Uh, 51.89.28 was the high just uh, four sessions ago. It's in the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. We'll see whether that's going to work. The QQQ is trading uh, down three and a half at 440.11. It's starting to struggle here. My my contention is that this nine period, and I'll be doing a webinar coming up this next Tuesday, talking about all these particular techniques. We'll see if that nine period moving average by Tuesday or Wednesday crosses negative. IWM is the Russell 2000 is up 82 cents at 205.71, trying to show some relative strength. Gold is coming back a little bit here. It had a very sharp move down yesterday. It's up 6 at 2172. Uh, everything's positive about this. All the technicals. Yes, the unbalanced volume was overbought. So therefore, you got this uh, sudden pullback. Looking at the dollar, the dollar did rally some yesterday. And today, it is uh, down 6 ticks at 102.87. Looking at crude oil now, this is really important because crude oil is having a strong session. Uh, it's walking the nine period moving average is up 2.13 is 79.69. If it starts to trade in the 80, 81 to 82 area in the next few days, now I think that's going to be a market negative. We'll be looking at this very closely. And the bonds, bonds are down, yields are up. Bonds are down 11.30 seconds at 120 and 13.30 seconds. This is going to be a very important week in the sense that. We've got some kind of a divergence because finally the SMH pulled back quite sharply for it. It's only down five at 222.61, had a high uh, all time high the other day of 239.14. Watching this very, very closely. So far, not bad action. I'll be back in a moment for the Tiger Technicians Hour. We'll talk about the webinar coming up, what's going to be discussed, why I think it is quite critical just in time. It might be time and price. We'll talk about it when I get re return and check out my opening call dating newsletter.